In this video we're going to be looking at how we can open Minecraft Dungeons levels within Java. Stay tuned, keep watching and I'll explain all. So there's going to be a few things that we're going to need. Obviously you're going to need Dungeons and you're going to need uh, Minecraft Java. Um, you're going to also need, let me think about this, you're going to need Python 3.8. Um, mod the mod kit which is here on github also tells you down here it needs python 3.8 to run um, you won't necessarily need unreal engine 4.22 unless you're going to do any other modding um, you're going to need to know how to extract or unpack the .pak files and you're also going to need to know how to move um, or make it so you can access the pak files there's a lot in-depth stuff you need to do before you can get to this stage um, I've done a series of videos that do cover a lot of it so I'll put a link in the description as well as this uh, Minecraft Dungeons mod kit go through them see how you get on it's quite easy to follow I think um, and then you should be up to the stage where we're at where we've downloaded this prior and if we go into Dungeons modding we go into modding here we've got the Dungeons mod kit master here ready to go ready for this video so the first thing we're going to need to do is find these levels now or object group JSONs. so we exported our dungeons to here we don't want the uh u model one we want bms so if we go to bms it all comes out and it all comes all out all a bit horrible to be honest with you it doesn't come in any sort of order um so we need dungeons i believe it is here and then we want content and then we're gonna want to do i think it's data and then lovica i really don't know how to spell that but i say that but there you go it's here and then we've got levels and then we've got object groups now levels is a totally different kettle of fish and if we were coming back the other way i would go over levels a little bit but we don't need to um we just need to look at the object group so this is all the levels within the game um, we can then convert these to um, Java levels for us to go through. So I've just got to find one that I want to want to sort of do. I I've done a few, but I haven't done all of them. So let's have a look at. I want to maybe look at one of the new ones, but I can't remember what they're called. Coral Rise. Let's have a look at Coral Rise and see what that looks like. So that's the underwater levels. Absolutely hate underwater levels, but anyway. So this is the coral rise. This is object group .json that I was talking about. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to copy paste that in there. We are then going to rename this coral rise. We're going to leave the original object group JSON in there just in case we need it. I'm going to control X that. I'm then going to go back to dungeons modding. I'm going to go modding dungeons mod kit master and then tools. And this is where our thing is. I'm going to paste it into here it's probably not the best place to put it but i'm going to put it into there you could make a folder up and then put it within the folder and then the next thing that we're going to do is run the dot bat so if we double click the dot bat we should get a little um, command window pop up um, here we go so now we need to select that file that we've just made so we need to go back i think it's desktop for me i don't know what it will be for you but if you've been following my videos it will be the same or should be really um desktop dungeons modding modding dungeon mod kit master tools and then coral rise the reason i knew it was after this file here is because it said json file here so you can sort of tell which file it's after it also says select file not folder so we click open on that, it will then go off and it will give us another one. So now we need to select the folder. So this is the folder that we actually want it to be extracted into and I have not got the foggiest of where that dungeons uh, thing is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a new folder within tools and I'm going to put converted underscore levels. And I'm going to go into that. And I'm going to make a new folder and it was Coral Rise. Coral Rise and then into that. That's the folder I'm going to select. Hopefully this will work. I've clicked it. I know what it's doing. It's doing its thing. Normally with a .bat file it will close once it's complete. So that's what we're waiting for. It might be looking for dungeons. Didn't ask for it. It just said select folder. So we're going to go have a look. Let's just have a look here. Converted levels. Coral Rise. So it's doing some stuff. 
this hasn't come up said it's completed yet so i don't know if it's stuck not stuck or what it's doing <clears throat> so we've got the region we've got region playing we haven't got the other stuff so there we go right it's done so you saw the uh dot bat disappear there it is all there so that's in coral rise here so now i've got to go find out where my um minecraft folder is so if you're not sure where your um saves folder is the easiest way to do it is to load up the launcher hopefully using the launcher um so oh, i had it just then minecraft ah, it's not that one it's launcher here so i'll load up the launcher just bring this down so you can see it a bit better um installations and i'm actually running 1.16 because there was some sort of issue with some things but anyway we're going to go click this folder here and then this folder will pop up your minecraft folder so then we can go save and this is all the save worlds and you can see that these are roughly the same as our ocean rise file that we uh, sorry coral rise that we made so all i'm going to do now is i am going to copy this because i want to keep that there copy that paste it into our saves because that's essentially what we've done is we've made a save that's done i'll just minimize that i'll just minimize that and now i'm going to play um 1.165 whatever folder you open click play on that so once your Minecraft has loaded up, um, the eagle eyed viewer of you will notice that I'm actually on 1.171. Um, I had some issues with um, 1.65 was it? Um, it just kept on crashing when I loaded so I just clicked on 1.71 and it loaded straight up. Anyway, it shouldn't matter where you put your save as long as you put it into that folder, um, then any version of Minecraft should suffice. So what we're going to do is go single player. We're then going to go converted object group, coral rise, we're going to select that, we're going to play selected world. This will load the world up like any normal world, but it is actually a dungeons world. So we'll wait for that to load. So I am now in the world. You can see here that the world is already populated with whatever the level has to offer. So this is Coral Rise from Minecraft Dungeons. Um, you can see there is lots of different um, areas. Now these areas here, they all get loaded into the game programmatically depending on what the uh, level has set out for you. Um, <clears throat> some are random some aren't it just depends they're all set up by these little doors here so these doors have this one doesn't but these are just general doors so that would be a door and that one would be a door over there um the this one here what's this let's have a look so that's a, a region doesn't have no data on it or i believe it does but because we're in 1.17 we can't actually see the data and there is a way of doing it but i can't remember um what it is there we go you have to hold down alt while clicking and the data comes up so that's a trigger um let's see if this one's got a uh, no tags so they're generally defined by the name and by the tag that's how they read it so this one has spawn so that is an enemy spawn there um this one here is a loot because it's region it's a loot drop or a chest maybe or something like that so these are all set up by other files that compensate this file and help load the level into a random randomness of entities and things depending on how the level set up but this is how we can get a dungeons world into minecraft java at least um they're quite big they're quite complex levels um i don't know how they build them i'm guessing they've got some sort of script or something that does it all for them because doing it by hand must take an absolute age <clears throat> and i can't imagine that they put all these regions and things and then tie them up with the other scripts by hand maybe they do and that's why it takes them so long but i really really don't know um there's another spawn there 
and this is probably going to be another so that's a boundary breaker trigger there's lots of different ones in here if you are planning on building your own minecraft dungeons level yep it is possible if you're planning on building your own minecraft dungeons level then i suggest to export one of the levels from dungeons into um, minecraft have a look have a play and see what you're missing or what you can do to it now it is a bit it is a bit confusing um, i plan to do a basic tutorial somewhere when I get the time on how to put a basic level in place and how to run through the map to the start to the end. Um, other things I'll try and do like doors and teleports and things like that. But generally it's just going to be a quick overhaul of how you can oh that lagged out then how you can get a level from um, Minecraft into dungeons rather than this way which is dungeons into Minecraft. So anyway I think that is about it. Go export some levels, go have a look around, go have a play, go see what you can find. Um, they're quite complex. You can get texture packs um, and install them so that you can see different things and you can make them look actually like the in-game level because this is not using the correct texture pack, but it all looks relatively good anyway. But <clears throat> nonetheless, it is what it is and it's huge. Look at it. It goes all the way over to here. So yeah, it must take them an absolute age to make all this and sort it all out if it is all done by hand. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has given you an insight into dungeons level making and getting dungeon level into Minecraft. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll do some more content soon.